and CC, and welcome back to an episode of the Minecraft Backyard server. I am here just breaking in some donkeys, and oh, it's been a bit of a slow process, but I am making some progress. There we go. Okay, let's see how good he is. And he's not even that good, he's completely useless. Wonderful, okay. So basically I have been developing some new system for this, but we'll get back to that in a sec. And now I have something pretty cool to show you on the inside of the house here. Look, we've got villagers. So Crispy and I went and did a little expedition to a nearby village and picked up a few new friends. So we have Levi, the leather worker, and we've got Libby, the librarian. And not only is it just a librarian, it's a mending librarian for 22 emeralds. I don't know if that's good, but I am very happy. I don't think I've ever actually had a mending librarian before. I've always got my mending from my friends and stuff. <laughs> but yeah, so I need a leather worker specifically to get myself some saddles. So I'm currently working on leveling this guy up. The thing is, I am completely out of leather. So like, I traded him all my leather, completely forgetting that I'd need it to actually make like books and stuff to trade with Libby. So yeah, I'm pretty much out of resources to do some trading. Oh, hello Pachinko. I forgot I brought you over here. <laughs> yeah, Pachinko is retired from working in the cat cafe. Uh, he's got some plans in the future, but we'll get to that another time. So in the last episode, I mentioned how I was going to consolidate all my storage into one area. And this is most of it. it. Took me a while, but I've now put all the woods and stuff together. Got my dirts and grasses, uh, like colored blocks and wool. It's finally all consolidated into one area. So it's a lot easier for me to work around here. There's still a few items scattered around the server, but I'll slowly bring them all over. But once I have to wait until I've gotten my mule stuff sorted. So, what is the plan for today? Well, there's a few different threads I need to pull, and I think the main one is going to be getting some basic farms in. Because if I want to do some uh, trading with these guys, I'm going to have to get some materials. And the materials I need the most of are going to be uh, paper, which requires sugarcane, and then leather, which requires dead cows. The issue is I have zero ideas for where I would put it. I've got a few places in mind. There is down here, which is underneath my horse area. It looks a little bit unstable. Uh, I think uh, <laughs> sinkhole is very likely. But this might be a pretty much perfect place to put a sugarcane farm. So I might clear this out and see what I can do. Now, before I get too in the weeds, or I guess in the reeds, I should probably get myself some mending on my tools, because, yeah, my, my tools are going. Okay, this should be enough area to do this, so I can't exactly remember how you make a sugarcane farm, but I believe it is as simple as this, and then there'll be sugarcane on here, and then just put water down in this lower section here. I can waterlog that as well. So that should be it. But I think what I'll do is have a few corridors with sugarcane either side, and then maybe a little exit that goes out to the, uh, the, 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 the river and kind of shroud it in sugarcane to make it feel like it's meant to be there. I might even theme it around like a little cave. We'll see. Let's focus on the corridors and see how much we can get in. And the sugarcane farm is now in. Just went with the basic design and instead of having an observer every single block, I've just went with like every fourth block, which should be fine. It does mean the like the rates are slightly slower, but like statistically it shouldn't make that much of a difference. Basically when one of them goes up, it will thwack every single one. And for this central one, I've actually set it up so the uh, it it's shares the redstone line between the two. So when one goes on this side, it'll like whack both sides. Oh, there we go. That's that sorted. So now I need to set up the collection system and also the glass. Apparently, it's gonna be a fireworks show at spawn. So I'm on my way. Oh, oh no. Oh, uh, that. Oh, there we go. I got it. Onwards. Oh, this is the venture. Hey, see, see. I, I it's thought... right here on the right. I'm gonna oh, explode wrench. it, apparently. I remember. I remember where my TNT is. 
You found Where it? Where is it? Mm, it's is it at my clock tower. Eat yeah, more boom boom the better, right? Hello. You you own the anime girl Hello. head. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't it look like grayscale hool? Oh no, my what? goodness. <laughs> How could you say that? <laughs> You're not wrong. Free the horses. Oops. Okay. <laughs> We're gathered here today to celebrate a momentous occasion. Oh no. Hey, we're going. We're doing. <laughs> the Horse Emporium Ranch <laughs> is happy to announce that we will be redecorating. Oh, could you could you like that one? Yeah. There you go. Yeah. yeah. No, Horse Arena. Wait, the horse. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> For the leak. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Of course. <laughs> Most important part. No, no. No, I couldn't. I couldn't Cece's pen in the bucket. <laughs> Yippee! Offward, onwards, to victory, <coughs> to the never. Da, 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 get, we're gonna get all the leaks. Oh. Goodbye. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, stuck beep, the beep, 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 beep. Okay, if we Wait, get out, it should go. The thing, are you just able to send one person at a time? Beep, beep. Let's go. No. Come back. This is how you travel in style. This is... Oh god, there's a gas above us. I don't think you can get any more stylish. Actually, I can. Technically, yeah, we... There we go, look at that. Yeah. No, gas, no! Oh god, don't, don't oh, see us. He hasn't seen us somehow. Can you not see us when we're in the boat? Did we just... Okay. It's, it's a stealth boat. Oh no! Oh. Where does that even bump? Where is it? Where isn't is it? Where is it? <laughs> oh god, it's above! Ah! Oh no! Oh, oh. Get out the, not the hole, not the hole! <laughs> ah! oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe that first gas was just blind. Oh. Oh, the boat's alive! We need to get the boat to safety! Oh god, there's the. The police! <laughs> no! Boat! To the, to the, wherever this is! <laughs> wherever this goes! Go! Oh, oh no! Oh, fire! <laughs> Where are we? We're safe. Um. <laughs> it's gonna be impossible for Crispy to oh. find us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's gonna have no idea where we went. So he heads back to spawn. We'll see if we can do a full loop through the never back into the. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not nice. Hit a squid. Get <laughs> one. No. <laughs> Get away. We can't. We he didn't see our faces. He didn't see our faces. <laughs> Go. <laughs> I have no idea where we are. So the magical <laughs> mystery tour. Yeah, it's a dead. This this river the dead no. end. No. Does that mean we have to walk? Wait, no, no, no. I have, I have, I have, I have a plan. Oh, you're you're controlling this. I am not. I don't have a license. Oh, watch out! Oh. You're 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 on, you're on bodyguard oh. detail then. <laughs> um, I also don't have a sword. I see. Ah. Ah. There we go. We've got up one level. Ah. What an adventure this it's boat has been it. on! It'll oh god, be creeper, creeper, it. creeper, 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 creeper! <laughs> <laughs> beep, beep, reverse. It's so slowly. <laughs> Okay, you uh, go forward onto the uh, piston. I I was just panicking. <laughs> oh. There you go. Oh, I've got a license now. Yeah, if you stay on... Do I have if a you license just... now? Yeah, you've got a license. This is your license. This is your test. <laughs> I'll, I'll be your buddy cut. <laughs> I can't drive that far. Oh no, sorry. That's that's out of the testing parameters. One second. Let me just clear. <laughs> clear my boot. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hit the pedestrians. <laughs> They're trying to hit us. <laughs> hey! This is one of the stupidest things I've ever done in Minecraft. <laughs> oh, I'm on fire. Okay. Ah! <laughs> I 
Oh, no, we are. Oh. <laughs> Did I fail? I'm gonna uh, die. Oh, I'm gonna die. There we go. <laughs> oh, I'm too hot. Get the piston back up. You have two hearts? Oh no. <laughs> keep it, keep it. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just standing still with my fears. <laughs> I can't see you if you don't move. Great. Oh, we've been chased. Yeah, we've done what he'll die from fire before he reaches <laughs> us, hopefully. Yeah. And we're here. <laughs> we made it! Yeah, and I think it's just take us around <laughs> to the edge. What was the point? <laughs> we just went around in a circle. <laughs> should, we go put it, should we go put it back into the walls? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we should. Thank you. Hello. Thank you. Oh, you guys are still in the boat. <laughs> we have returned <laughs> from our grand odyssey. Uh, <laughs> Did you guys go around the world? We, yes. Wow, this is... We, we've been it's doing this impressive. for about like a hundred, like to like five hundred blocks, probably. <laughs> yeah, we've. I wonder yeah. what happened on the other side of that portal we'll after we threw tons of arrows through. We're putting the bucket back. Oh wait, wait, the the ranch, the ranch is gone. There's no ceiling. <laughs> oh, yeah, things have changed. Okay, well there we go. We've um, returned. We brought your bucket wow. back. Yeah, your bucket's returned. <laughs> Oh, thank you guys. That was the most important thing I had. Yeah, we know how much you cared about the back. There you go. Well, anyways, I'm going to go back to doing redstone. You guys have fun. Okay, good luck. We're, we're the Grand yeah, Odyssey. Good 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 goodbye. Bye. So, uh, I might have gotten a little bit distracted there. It's very easy to get distracted on this server, and I don't exactly know why we did that. But anyways, I am here at the Sugar Game Farm where there has been a lot of progress. Uh, a bit more off screen than I initially intended to. But I kind of got in the zone last night. So we have now added in some copper drapes as like the glass to prevent the uh, the, 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 the sugar cane from getting blasted out into the hall. And I've also just ended up putting in observers every single block because I was having lost issues. Like there kept being like ones that grew past it. It was really annoying me. So it's more expensive, but it means it's completely efficient now. And yep, yeah, we've got both corridors set up as well with the minecart underneath. And at the end of these two corridors, we have two collection systems. So over here is where all the regular sugarcane is going to be stored. But not much right now because over this side, we have a little sugarcane factory. So basically what I've got here is two sets of crafters that are automatically making sugar and paper. Because that is the only two items that Sugarcane can actually make, which I was kind of shocked to find out. But uh, I want to have a little bit of store of Sugarcane just for like de decorating and stuff. But most of it's going to be turned into sugar and paper anyway. So figured I would try and set up some crafters to do that. And I'm a bit embarrassed at how long it took me to figure this out. But basically back here we have like an overflow system. So the minecarts will send all the items up into one of these two uh, lo unloaders. They'll then go over these hoppers here, which then will take out a few and put into these crafters. And then I've just got a basic simple crafting circuit, which uh, when this crafter gets filled, it will craft up the item inside here. So this one will craft paper and this one over here will craft sugar whenever like the final slot is filled and it gets put into the system and then any extra sugar cane will get sent over here. So it won't, I won't be getting regular sugar cane until these two sets of chests down here are completely filled. And speaking of that, let me get past. Speaking of that, I have the second circuit over here. This is basically a lock. So when this hopper completely fills up with items, it will basically uh, this comparator will say, turn off the crafter. So it'll lock this hopper up here and not let any more items into the crafter. And I think that should work fine. Obviously, I can't really test that until it is completely filled up. And then, yeah, I need all the excess goes over here. And then if I do overflow, it'll all go down in here into this uh, composter system. So I think we're going to go into time-lapse mode for this sugarcane farm and get ourselves this area done. And then I can just kind of leave it passively running in the background, getting a sugar to use in breeding.
And with that, we've now got a nice cliff over here on the riverbank. Oh, it's lovely. I think my only issue is I'm not a big fan of how the grass is sitting just because I'm using the like fuller grass that goes up the side of the blocks. It kind of looks a little bit odd, but that's fine, I think. It's also a little bit more overgrown than it was before. The vines have spread a bit. But on the it, on the inside, we now have the two little corridors. On the right, we've got the sugar cane, and on the left, we've got the paper and sugar. And actually, we can quickly check to see how much we've got in, in stock, and that's not that bad, because I actually used a bit of it as well. Okay, so like 11 stacks of paper, which is still ways off of filling up the system. Oh, some keeps ending up in here. I'm not really sure why or how. Oh, it's because it's because of how crafters interact with hoppers. It puts all the items into the top hopper. Two of them get taken out. One of them must go into the top chest. Got you. Okay. Uh, yeah. So that is now the sugarcane farm done. So I can just leave this running passively for however long it needs, and I'll probably do a bit of time farming out here. But that can come at a later time. For now, I want to quickly head up top. So earlier in the video, I mentioned that I would show you my donkey breeding methods, and it's pretty simple. Basically, I have these four pens over here, and each of these signs shows the exact stats of the donkey. So for example, this one here has a speed of 11.458 meters per second, and a jump of 3.258 meters, which means it goes 11 about 11.5 blocks a second, and about 3.2 blocks. So, and then basically whenever I breed up a new set, I will just compare the stats, and if any of the numbers are higher than this, I will uh, replace them out. And the arrows just means if the number is higher than the previous one. I've also got a down arrow, though it's very rare for me to actually have like one that has the worst stat. I'll only really use a worst stat donkey if like one of the stats is ridiculously high compared to the other one. Like earlier, I got my like when I was at like eight blocks per second, I got my eleven point four one, but its jump was like horrendous. But I still kept it anyway, and it's kind of read into the rest of the donkeys now. Anyways, uh, I've kind of hit a brick wall with this though, because I am completely out of golden carrots, which you need to breed them. So the easiest way to get golden carrots, aside from crafting them, is by using villagers. So on the inside of uh, Plinko's horse ranch, I have done a little bit of villager breeding by just giving them extra beds and uh, some food. And now we've got a few more uh, members of the family. <laughs> A few more than I initially wanted as well, because I only set up one extra bed in here, and yet for some reason there's uh, there's now five of them in here. So I'm guessing they've linked to beds outside of the building. But one of these villagers, I think this one, yeah, this one here, uh, he actually trades uh, golden carrots, which is amazing. So I'm going to be using this guy to get myself some more of them. But aside from that, I think all I have left to do for today is to maybe just give myself some more room for my cows. Because right now they are a little bit, uh, cramped. Yeah, it's a bit inhumane, this. Oh, and also, uh, something I completely forgot. One of the reasons I wanted a librarian in there wasn't because I wanted books. That's just a nice bonus. I actually trying to get a name tag villager because... Uh, a little while ago, Cole and Crispy came and visited and went around and named every single one of my cats. So we've got like Sponge, Rag and Towel here. Uh, we've got Stinky Stinkerton. Uh, this one I actually had a name tag for. We've got like Catastrophe up there is Monster. These ones, Jeffrey. And that's not, and that's not even including the ones that spawn. So yeah, I need to get some name tags if I want to actually start naming them. So a village is probably the best option, and hello, what do you have to trade? Coral. I might take coral. I'll just leave you kind of wandering for now. So then, I, so now I just need to get more leather to get more books so I can get the villager ranked up. Let's get on with the cows, and I think that's where we can call it. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure how to approach this. <laughs> I guess it's me take, uh, one second. I might need to do a little bit of terraforming here, so I think we have to move the cows again. This is like the fifth time I've had to move these cows. <laughs> Okay, let's uh, flatten this area down a little. I'm completely out of cyan terracotta, so I'll just do tough for now. Okay, that seems pretty good. So now if I just sort of bring a fence kind of around the side, maybe connect it up to like here. 
There we go, that's perfect. So now I need to bring the cows back over. Oh, a few have gone rogue, but let's quickly fence that off. Sorry, I probably shouldn't eat your uh, relatives in front of you, should I? There we go. And speed up you two as well. And once the grass grows back in, I'll do a bit of bone mealing, give them some grass to eat, and yeah. I also need to light it up as well, because it's going to be an absolute death trap over there. Yeah, let's do a little bit of terraforming around here, and we can finish this off. I'm hoping that this will stay as their forever home, so I don't have to move the cows again. I'll get an actual path block at some point. For now, just uh, the literal path block should do me fine. I'm thinking I'll use mud bricks around the area for the path, but we'll kind of mix things up a little bit. It's not going to be one set path block, I don't think. And then down here, I also want a little path that goes next over to here. Now, moss might be a little bit too green for this area since it is like... Um, the grass is a bit bluier around here. But if I do like little patches like that, maybe it'll look fine. I'll also mix in some lichen on the wall as well, just to give me more lighting opportunities. They are also going to need a somewhere to drink from. So if I just sort of set up like a little wait, a little like water trough over here. Please don't go inside it. A little water trough there. Just gonna bone meal around the area a little bit. Nothing too massive. And there we go. I think that should do nicely. Actually, I've got one more idea. I'm not sure if Podzol or Soul Sand will work better. But if I have some like scattered around it kind of looks like there's little cow pats maybe and there we go i think that is very nice i am pretty happy with this so i think that is where i am going to leave it for today and i think we made some good progress today got ourselves a sugarcane farm got some villagers got a cow pen and yeah so i hope you enjoyed and i will see you in the next one bye